Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on the time you are watching this. My name is Creepers, and today I bring you the Ram News. Ram News is back, it has been a while indeed, but this year we're gonna be going strong with as much as Ram News as necessary for you to guys to keep updated to anything that is coming. And on our first news of the day, probably one of the most important, Yagarath. A new champion is coming into the game, and this champion is so OP that it has more HP on her bar than almost the enemy team combined. Not to mention, she holds, holds a second HP bar when she ults. Which, by the way, in case you were wondering what her ultimate is, she literally eats people alive. That's fantastic. Now, with that said and done, there is already a video that I posted um, earlier, and in that video I cover pretty much what is coming in this patch for Yagarath, the arrival of this big worm. Um, alien worm? Sure. And let's go with that. Um, and, well, in this patch there is a couple other things, including a map, visual rework for Timber Mill, a couple of different changes, some ramps here and there, who will well, pretty much we're gonna have to wait for PDS to be able to see it. And also the murder of one of the characters of Paladins on the patch notes. In case you're wondering who I'm talking about, I'm talking about IO. IO has been murdered. And going on to other things, probably very important actually for a lot of people who are wondering on when PDS is coming, um, there's no date yet. It's supposed to be there during this week. All you need to know is that when PDS is up, I probably will be streaming it, or I will announce it on Twitter, or, you know, just check out my Twitch or YouTube, and you will be notified as soon as possible that PDS is up. In case you're wondering what PDS is, is well, PDS is a trip to the future. It is an extra server that allows you to test upcoming patches. In this case, we're going to be able to test out Yagorath, the alien worm, um, and the murder of IO sooner than expected before they go into the live servers. So then we can tell the developers that Yagorath is really OP and needs to be nerfed. With that said and done, let's go into another exciting news. Payload. Payload is coming back, confirmed already by developers, but one information that was not yet confirmed 100% was that this will only be coming back as a limited time event. That's right. A lot of you guys are, were actually expecting it to come and stay, but it's not. It's a limited time event. Speaking of limited time events, one of the news that was actually given by the developing team of Paladins was that in 2021, we are going to have limited time modes every single patch. The battle passes are leaving, we're gonna have instead event passes, and there's going to be champion releases in the middle of patches. There's gonna be a lot more patches coming up. Again, Realm News will be covering those, so don't forget to sub to the channel so you can stay up to date with pretty much anything that is necessary. And there you go. That is pretty much it when it comes to patches. We're going to have more patches. And there's still going to be a new season pass. Which right now, we don't know exactly what's coming in the future. But we do know that Abyssal Furia is going to come at the, right at the start, the initial purchase of this pack. Usually it, it goes around 40 bucks. I'm not entirely sure about that price. I will be correcting it in the future as soon as I have the correct price. But until it comes uh, together with Yagarath, um, all you need to do is just wait. We'll see it on PDS. Now, based on that payload limited being only limited um, timed mode, uh, there was also a question on Twitter done by one of the developers of Paladins, aka Romanova, the community manager. She asked to the community which one of the four different options she posted on this tweet, which one would they want to see more? And the, the answers were, Payload, but permanent, uh, bug fixes, a new map, or champions and slash skins. The answers may surprise you. Apparently, people want payload permanent and bug fixes more than they want a new map or champions, which is 
kind of weird considering they do bug fixes every single patch. And without new content, like new maps or new characters, um, well, Paladins will just become boring. So, there you go. Um, speaking of other tweets, there was a tweet done by the Paladins official Twitter. They uh, brought up that there's going to be a new event. This event is actually a community avatar program. In this program, people are going to be able to submit avatars. Every time there's an opening, every time there's a new theme. In this case, the theme that it is right now it is actually the third anniversary, anniversary of Paladins. And in case you're wondering if it's actually three years that Paladins has been out for, yes, it is. After the open beta. Okay, for anyone who was wondering about that, Paladins is way older than just three years, yes, but this is the three years of launch. So, don't worry about the number, it's based on the official launch, which was probably done so that the game could go to Switch as well, by the way. With that said and done, I will be leaving a link in the description for you guys to go and check out the rules. There's many different rules you have to pay attention to, like the size of the avatar, the theme of the, uh, of the avatar in question you have to draw. You can submit many different avatars actually, but only 10 will be selected in the end, and they will not be selecting GIFs. So, just do static images, and well, keep it PG-13, obviously. Now, on to other things. One major theme that a lot of people on Paladins are talking about is the Bounty Store. And yes, the Bounty Store is constantly up and down. There's nothing I can do about that, or anyone, at least for right now, there's no information about that. But there is one thing related to the Bounty Store, and that thing is the sales. As in case you guys didn't notice, during Christmas there was a couple sales for some skins, where the skins would only cost about 5 bounties, coins, 3, 2, depending. And a lot of people complained because some of the times where there was these sales, the bounty store was down. So, you know, it's kind of complicated to be able to get these sales in the first place. Romanova decided to do a tweet explaining to us that she discussed with the team about this specific subject and that they were planning on putting the sales during weekdays. This way, in case the bounty store was down, during the week they could just come in there and fix it much better than just trying to do it on the weekend since nobody uh, related to the bounty store works on the weekend. So there you go. And our final but probably the most important news of today is the AOC. That's right. The AOC is now in its final state, which is the voting. And as of right now, you guys can go onto the spe specific page that I will be leaving the link, leaving the link in the description, um, and you can just go there and vote. You can vote for three different people. You cannot vote for the same person in two times in a row. There you go. And there's a vast, vast list of different people who want to apply. Now, whether you're planning or not in voting, I do advise you to vote. And if you're looking to vote for somebody who would be just as good as me being the AOC, if that was your plan all along for having me on the AOC, Beam for Hell would be your best choice. He's like a brother to me, and I actually did an interview to him, which I will be posting pretty soon after this video as well, if you guys want to check that out to know what his ideas are. Now, just in this theme as well, in case you're wondering why am I not applying for the AOC, pretty simple. First, I am in the stream team of Paladins, which does not allow me to apply for the AOC, and either way, I kind of don't want to, for a very simple reason. In this channel, as you guys know, I do lore theories and teaser analysis. Now, imagine what it would be like for me to, you know, know these secrets in the lore that's coming out in the future and then still do these videos. It would be kind of weird. People would be like, dude, you already know what's coming out. So why are you doing these videos again? So I prefer I prefer to just stay out of the AOC, but still have my give my support as the right arm for Beam for Hell if he makes it in. So there you go. Don't forget to be vote Beam for Hell if you want the next closest best person to me to be there. And, well, that is pretty much the news I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out the interview with Beam for Hell after this video. And, and all I can say is with this pandemic, stay safe. Wash your hands, uh, use, you know, disinfecting gel and 
alcohol and use your your mask for when your masks when going outside it takes everyone's effort so we can get out of this situation thank you so much this has been round news with creepers here and i'll be coming up with much more round news in the future so watch out for that thank you so much i'll see you guys next time until then have a wonderful time